Hey guys, welcome back to another wig styling video. It seems like all I've been posting is wig styling videos because I haven't thought of anything else to do because I've just been bored and really hot. It's, re it's really hot. And this is the last wig I'm going to have for a while because i got to get cosplay stuff now because I, I can't think of any other cosplay other than Ibuki, which is a $37 wig, and plus I'm also going to add hair to it, you know? You know, you know. And we're styling Sakichi because that's the last wig to do. And also, this wig is, I'm going to use it for CL from Black Butler also. So, I first am going to grab this a piece here because it shouldn't be that long when it goes across the face because it's like super long and his hair's not. Now, you might be wondering if you cut that, how are you going to use it for CL also? Well, I have a other wig that I'm going to put over top this one with uh, bangs and whatnot for female CL. And even if I do regular CL, all I have to do is switch it to the side, basically. So, I want it to be at least longer than this. Like, about here is where I'm going to cut off. Right here. Because I don't want it to be too short. And also, these little pieces, I'm going to leave these. And I'm just going to... Um, the hair here and also this wig I really don't have to do anything really to it um, a link in the description but this wig was already thick when it came in the mail and it has a lot of hair as you can tell a lot of hair and now we're going to do this side. And all you have to do, if you're going to also use it for CL, um, you can unpin it and it work. Now, I obviously got a darker color blue than CL's hair, and it's not as dark as, I mean, Sweet Cheese got like a greenish tint to this hair, but I just like this color. I like this color a lot. So, basically... There's the hair pin back, and we're going to cut this later. Since now we need to go from the back. Now, the back is long, but that doesn't matter because both the characters have to look like. They're both pretty much emo characters. Anyway, we're going to take some hair from the back. Now, um, also, it, you're going to pull some hair from each direction, basically, but not a lot of hair for the hege. And also with the hat, because I'm also going to be using the hat, it will still work, hopefully. And I'm going to have to restyle this, but basically this is how you're going to style it. And we got to get some from this angle. You don't want to grab a lot of hair, mainly because um, you don't want the hege to be too full, because he has like a very fit hege. So we all take the teasing brush.
thank you all for watching. It was a very basic uh, Sweetie Sahara thing, you know. We're going to use it for two cosplays. Um, this is it with the hat on, by the way. This is it with the hat on. I made my own hat for him because I couldn't afford the outfit. I don't even have the outfit. So I made my own hat and I really like it. I'm also going to, these are placements for the holes I'm going to put in there for rings. But yeah. It looks great, and when you take the hat off, the heart of Hege stays, and you just gotta fix the back of it and whatnot. But if you enjoyed, and any questions, comments, or anything, leave them down below, and I'll see if I can understand it or figure it out and answer your questions. So, bye!